Welcome. This is question number 17 from the TenReady, or TCAP, whatever you want to use here, practice test for integrated math 2. We're in subpart B or subpart 2 or whatever, so calculators are allowed. You don't need it here, though. The chart gives the number of people owning cell phone as a function of years. So this is how many people, millions of people own cell phones since 1977. This number has gone up just a little bit since then, and by a little bit I mean ridiculous amounts. Uh, the number of people owning cell phones in T is modeled by this equation, so I'm just going to write it up here just so I can discuss it a little bit. Where T represents the number of years since 1977. They want to know the value of A sub 0. There's a couple things that you have to understand here. The first is that the value that's being raised by the variable, so this is a function of t, and t is the variable, uh, t is the exponent, I'm sorry, on p, means this component represents change. That's your, I mean, if you're doing a, um, like a geometric sequence, it's probably your common ratio there, and that part would be multiplied by the number of years each time since 1977. Also, this value represents what the value, uh, it says since 1977, so the first term, the first year would be 1978. So t of 1, so I guess I should say t1, is equal to 1978. And that'll come into play here in just a second. Now. What does that leave left over? By the way, this is a multiply relationship. If you don't see a sign, uh, any operating symbol there, it means it's a multiplication. If uh, numbers or letters touch, they multiply. Kind of like if you used to keep hamsters or something. If you have one that's a boy and one that's a girl, it seems like as soon as they touch, you have like six hamsters, so be careful. Anyway, a sub zero would say, really, this is my starting point. It's the amount of people that have cell phones before I start analyzing year one, year two, year three. Hence the year zero. So a sub zero represents a constant amount based on, uh, yeah, based on the year that everything starts out. My origin story. If I were to draw a graph, and this would probably be some sort of exponential right here. It'd probably be way up here actually. And then it would just shoot up like this because of the nature of it being raised to an exponent it means it's probably exponential. Anyway, with that being said, it may not go up that fast depending on the value of p. But what I can find out is when you see this a sub zero, it means what's the starting point, what's the starting time. So since the number t represents the number of years and one year would be 1978, t of zero would be 1977. So the question says, what is this value? And since this is um, giving me the value of cell phones in millions, I can go ahead and keep this. 1977 is 2.1. So the answer to number 17 is D. It's not really that difficult of a question if you understand the nature of what they're asking you to look at. And in this case, they want you to know that when you have an exponential function of this type, that the number that's being that has the exponent on it with a variable, the number the variable is applied to, no matter what, even if it's just like 3x plus 5, if you have y equals mx plus b form or slope intercept form, that 3x is the part that represents change, and the slope tells you what the change is, and the x is where you insert the numbers, or input the numbers, values, I guess. In this one, the p exponent is being acted upon, and you input the value to t, so this represents change. So the other part has to represent the starting point, or some equivalent of it. And since it's a sub 0, it's the year starts, so 2.1. That's it.